Thank you. We're here today to denounce the Mexican government's human trafficking practices against the Cuban doctors. The Mexican government is funding an international human trafficking ring operated by the Cuban regime. There is a free trade agreement between the United States, Mexico, and Canada, known as the USMCA. And Chapter 23 of that free trade agreement is very clear. The three partners in it cannot engage in forced labor or in human trafficking. The doctors that are being moved from Havana to Mexico are signing contracts that they do not even know how much they're gonna make. And out of that salary, they only receive 5%. The rest of the salary goes to the Cuban regime fund. After that, their passports are taken, they're under constant surveillance. Cuba controls their bank accounts, and to keep them quiet, the regime threatens their families. Cuba is making a lot of money. Doctors are being swindled, exploited, and trafficking, and Mexico is getting cheap labor. The Mexican government is exploiting <clears throat> Cuba's most valuable good, its human capital. They are funding the Cuban dictatorship and ignoring international conventions on human rights and labor rights. The Mexican president recently expressed that conservatives who have a problem with using Cuban doctors can go to hell. And my answer to President Lopez Obrador is that he will be the only one who's going to go to hell for siding with evil forces, bringing, <clears throat> being an accomplice to human misery, specifically to the Cuban doctors. In April, I sent a letter to the Department of Labor telling them to investigate humans, Mexico's human rights violations. And today, I'm denouncing Mexico, Mexico's violations of chapter number 23 of the USMCA, the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, which is the gold standard among trade deals. If you want to deal with the United States, you cannot engage in human trafficking. Period. I am taking, I am talking directly to the President of Mexico as a United States Congresswoman representing the city of Miami, the heart of the Cuban exile community. If you keep on trafficking with the Cuban doctors, you are putting at risk your position in the USMCA trade deal. 